Carrington all over her. Clark eyes up. Bounces to Boston. Boston one-on-one -on -one with Jones will flip it in. All eyes are on Caitlin Clark as she makes the most exciting career announcement. Guess what? Caitlin is getting ready to take a big step unlike any rookie we've ever seen before. Remember our video on the track superstar, Sydney McLaughlin? Well, this big news is not like that. Rather, a massive step in transforming the world of women's basketball. With the dust settling on a remarkable rookie season, Caitlin Clark makes the biggest step forward, unlike any we've seen in a long time. At Mia Coffey does well every time down the floor. It tries to help the continuity of the offense. Caitlin Clark on the board with the logo three. Caitlin Clark just announced she'll be signing for a European team, and all hell breaks loose. What does this mean for the WNBA? How can they plug in the hole left by the rookie superstar? That should be easy, since she's not the only rookie, right? Wrong. Having Caitlin Clark on the court alone drives up attendance by a whooping 46%. No wonder the WNBA ratings dropped off a cliff once the Indiana Fever were kicked out by Digenai Carrington's Connecticut son. You should remember her. That's the eye-poking lady with crazy long fingernails. Was made clearly not on purpose from Carrington, but also... I mean, why would a basketball star be allowed on the court with such fingernails? And the ref didn't even call the foul. That's probably one of the reasons Caitlin Clark is moving away from the WNBA, away from the hate. And Angel Reese knows a ring is coming. Yeah, the reason why we watch women's basketball is not just because of one person, it's because of me too, and I want y'all to realize that. So what does Caitlin Clark bring to the table for European basketball? Caitlin possesses the dynamic energy that will propel the European League to unprecedented heights with her quick, aggressive, and unpredictable playing style. Her ferocious competitive spirit and amazing playmaking skills are what fans admire about her. Not only will her transfer abroad help her career, but it will also inject European basketball with energy, bringing in new fans, selling out arenas, and elevating team dynamics. Think about it, a multi-million dollar deal for Caitlin shows the league regards her as more than just a brilliant athlete. She's a symbol of where European basketball wants to go. Caitlin is entering into a role that might make her the face of European sports culture, sparking a trend where American icons find fresh life across the Atlantic. Caitlin Clark's play style makes her an instant fan because she blends explosive scoring ability with bold zeal. She can drain deep three-pointers with ease, drive straight through defenses, and deliver jaw-dropping assists that leave fans and opponents startled. Her fierce pace and confidence on the court make her tremendously fascinating to watch, and she plays with a passion that feels electric, igniting enthusiasm from every fan in the arena. Caitlin isn't just skilled. She's a true showstopper who brings a new level of intensity to every game, bringing in fans who appreciate her bold, unstoppable approach. <laughs> Clark working on Cunningham, gets inside, Clark gets it to go, and the foul, breaking the double digits. Leaving the WNBA also means that Caitlin is finally free from the nasty barriers that seemed to target her from day one. For anyone who followed her debut season, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The endless fouls, the harassment. This wasn't simply basketball, it was a calculated attempt to take her down a peg. But here's the kicker. Caitlin doesn't have to deal with that anymore. In Europe, she'll have the chance to demonstrate her skills without being bogged down by the relentless, premeditated hits or undermining conduct from jealous players who couldn't handle her star power. Caitlin's move is a significant statement. She's saying she won't stand for a league that didn't protect her and surely didn't appreciate her. Set the limb. Clark goes behind her back to get by Odyssey Sims, and that electrifies the crowd. Obviously wanting this team to be keenly aware of the screening action in this Fever offense. Got a look there at Christy Sides, like Coach Trammell in her second year, and there's Nalissa Smith finishing. Nice. Boy, Enrique gave it to... But Cowan, who couldn't finish, behind the back again, perform, give her... Caitlin Clark's time in the WNBA was plagued by persistent harassment from you. Yes, you, WNBA players, who couldn't take the fact that Caitlin was the biggest talent to grace the court in years. You fouled her often, 
stretched her limitations, and used every underhanded trick to put her off her game, accumulating up that stunning 17% of league fouls aimed directly at her. For all the brilliance Caitlin provided, she was met with nothing but jealousy, hatred, and contempt from her own league mates. Referees? Well, they might as well have been invisible. They turned a blind eye to the blatant fouls that targeted her every time she set foot on the floor, allowing your unsportsmanlike behavior slide while she paid the consequence. Instead of safeguarding a player with that much potential, the WNBA chose to overlook your cheap shots and petty aggressions. Caitlin was forced to fend for herself in a league that failed to support its own emerging talents. And that's what sets Caitlin apart from you. She's beyond the drama and above the foul play. You tried to cage her in, but Caitlin's move to Europe indicates that you couldn't hold her down. In Europe, she'll finally get the fair game she deserves, free from the harassment and hatred she suffered from the WNBA's so-called co-stars. Harassed by Carrington, finds Boston. Clark gets hit in the face by Carrington and is in pain after she caught that fingertip in the eye or right around. Now let's confront the elephant in the room, the WNBA's inability to hold on to its greatest talent. Allowing someone like Caitlin Clark to walk away is more than simply losing a player. It's losing a superstar in the making. You, WNBA players, must know what it means when a player as marketable and talented as Caitlin chooses better possibilities elsewhere. If the WNBA couldn't retain Caitlin, who's to say more promising stars won't follow? Remember, many WNBA players already fly to Europe during the offseason to make ends meet. Now, they're watching someone like Caitlin take that leap full time for a multi million dollar contract. And make no mistake, she won't be the last. With Caitlin in Europe, who wouldn't be enticed by such success. <laughs> now, Caitlin Clark is finally being compensated for her worth, something the WNBA refused to do. Instead of acknowledging the amazing talent she offered, you, the WNBA, Try to belittle her achievement, downplay her significance, and shove her into the same box as everyone else. Caitlin wasn't just another rookie. She was the future, and you couldn't handle that. Rather than celebrate her success, you opted to diminish it, offering a paycheck that was nowhere near what she earned for the effects she made and the exposure she brought to the league. But in Europe, Caitlin's tale has shifted. She's getting a multi-million dollar deal that fits her talent and acknowledges her as a celebrity. Finally, Caitlin is in a league that sees her value and rewards it. No longer will she have to fight against your limits, petty envy, or attempts to eclipse her accomplishment. Europe recognizes the brilliance you refuse to appreciate, and now she's free to shine on a platform that's eager to pay her what she's worth. This is a league where she'll grow, acquire respect, and be compensated like the superstar she is. No thanks to you. The WNBA is in big trouble here. Imagine seeing talent after talent slip away, each departing to escape the hatred and limits they experienced in your league. Caitlin Clark's move could be the beginning of a trend. It's no secret that other players experience the same frustrations, low salary, lack of support, and yes, dealing with continuous fouls from their own teammates. For the WNBA, the writing's on the wall. Change or watch as Europe's leagues gain talent, audience, and the prestige that formerly belonged to the WNBA. Score in NCAA women's basketball. Now signing autographs, as she oh, always does. It. Paying it forward, as you pointed out, Christy, Super to the future cute. players. Well, you love to see it. Look at their eyes. They are just... The European team targeting Caitlin is reported to be working up a jaw-dropping, multi-million dollar deal that may make her the highest paid player overseas. This isn't simply a wage boost, it's life-changing. 
Caitlin is now part of a league that acknowledges her talent and will help her reach her full potential without the pettiness she's had to endure in the WNBA. This squad knows Caitlin's worth and they're ready to pay for it. They picture a future where Caitlin isn't just a player. She's an icon who will bring tremendous media coverage, an electrified following, and a brand that reshapes European basketball's reputation on the global stage. <laughs> Caitlin Clark's decision to go overseas isn't just a move, it's a wake-up call. The WNBA has allowed one of its best rookies slide through their fingers, and now they'll have to watch as she pushes European basketball to new heights. Caitlin's move is proof that if you can't support your players and their skill, someone else will, and the loss will be felt for years to come. So what do you think? Will Caitlin's move overseas lead to even more talent departing the WNBA? Or will the league finally start making changes to keep players like her? Let us know your opinions in the comments below. And as always, be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more updates.